Hi there, and welcome to Art from the Cottage. Today I'd like to show you something rather special that I do with envelopes. So let's get started. So I'd like to show you some of the envelopes that I printed today on a jelly plate. Um, rather luxurious looking. And um, they're six by six, and they go with the cards that I make. So I decided to um, just use the same colours and see if I can get the envelope to suit the card that I already had. And as you can see, it's looking quite good. And here's another card that I had in stock that would probably go with this, this envelope that I did. Um, the same colour palette, gold and sort of peacock blue, really nice. And so this is another envelope that I did today and that's in a beautiful silvery blue um, and dark blue palette with some gold on it. That one, it's, it's nice. And that is a card that I had that would probably go well with that envelope. This is another card that might go well with that envelope. It looks slightly different colour on the screen, but they are, in real life, they're very similar. And this one is a beautiful magenta and gold with some blue. And I made this specially to be able to send through the, the post because the stamp would go there and then you could write on the the details, the address and everything and um, you could send that one through the post and there's a card that would possibly go with it it's got some lavender and some gold here's another one, now that one's more like it that's a darker magenta, a purple with gold and so is that, and that's the darker magenta. So that would go really well with that envelope. Now the only thing wrong with doing these is you've got to be very careful. You don't get a splodge of paint on the front because it would just ruin the whole thing. So they're harder to do those ones because you're constantly masking it and being very careful to keep your hands clean. So I'd rather do the other ones, actually. <laughs> so here's one that I thought that we could do. Um, it's lovely greens and gold and um, dark green on that one and a lighter bluey green as well. So I thought we'd have a go at that and um, make an envelope to fit that card. Yeah, so here's the envelope um, that I'm using. And then brown ones are really thick and nice, good quality. And I'm just putting down some black. I want a very dark background to match the card. So let's put the black down. Start with. And this is going to be a lot easier because I'm going to do the back and the front. Um, you know, pretty much the same, in the same colours anyway. So I'm not afraid of getting a little bit of paint on, on the back of this. And I'm using this smaller jelly uh, plate because it must be six by six and because it fits the card really well. 
I think if I used a bigger jelly plate, it would, um, I'd have all paint everywhere and, you know, this it's contained, it's, it stays where it's at and you can always just sort of, any bits that have not been, not got paint on them, you just sort of dab it on there. So I find that you really need to dry each section that you do well because otherwise paint transfers all over the place. So each section that I do, um, I make sure it's really dry with the hairdryer. And this is the black for the reverse side of the um, envelope. So I put on some dark aquamarine paint and some botanicals and let's see what happens with that. It's going to still be very dark but there will be that beautiful green as an underlay. So at this point I just keep layering colour and, and the, the, the leaves and just keep layering it until I find a place that I like. So now I'm trying to get the same pattern, um, roughly, that is on the card, so that it's more um, cohesive. Going in with the gold now, it's coming together a little bit. find it's quite important to dry it thoroughly after each little section.
So I decided that it needed just a little bit more um, detail on the front of the envelope, I think it is, yeah. And now to compare the two, the card with the envelope, which are you know, pretty good, pretty good together. I think you'll agree. Quite pleased with that. And now it's the back of the envelope. I'll try and get it similar to the card in the front. And there they are, the two finished pieces, the envelope and the card. Pretty similar considering that I had the card, I did the card, you know, days ago, before I did the envelope. There you are. So those two go together really well. The envelope, the back of the envelope looks like a tropical jungle to me. So either one of those cards would really go with the magenta envelope, it's looking pretty good. Um, just trying to find another one, that, and that one goes with it, that one really goes with it. So this is the other envelope that I did earlier. Um, the colours are just amazing, really, really beautiful. So let's see if we can find a card that really goes with it. That one could go with it. But there's a better one, I think. I've got a better one than that. That would, that one, that one really, really goes with it. That would make a lovely, look at that. That would make a stunning card for a special person, special occasion. Yeah, 
It's the kind of card that, you know, you would definitely keep. This is a lovely silvery blue and gold and silver I believe. That's that's really really nice as well. With some darker blue in there. And I think I found some cards that would go with it. That one would go with it nicely. There's gold, pale blue, silvery blue, and silver in it. Um, let's see if there's another card that goes with it. That one will go with it. You see it's picking up the colours in the envelope. And all these cards were made, some of them were made weeks ago. And they really go well with the um, envelope. That looks, oh, that really goes well with it. That looks nice. The back of the envelope is lovely as well. Yeah, that can really go well with it. So you see, you can, you know, you can have some fun doing this. It's nice to have for special people, special occasion. Yeah, I think so. Well, I've had fun doing this for you today. Hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you'll have a go at them. And um, if you liked the video, I would love it if you could press the like button. And if you, I'd be delighted if you subscribe to my channel. And as always, I'll say goodbye and love from Cornwall.